leave the handpan here, <laughs> actually. Welcome to our little jam session here with James. Ich, uh, my name is Matt. We, we're doing this interview in English. I speak German and English, and he's speaking English and... Mandarin. Mandarin, nice. <laughs> and this is James. I just met him here in Byron Bay. And I was thinking about this guy should be a part of the handpan interview courses for other musicians, people who want to learn about the music, about street music, about getting more success and having more fun with the music playfulness and whatever comes up or whatever is challenging you. I think we can help you achieve or solve your problem. And uh, this is why I invited James for this interview. Um, as I told you, I met him here in the streets in Byron and we were jamming together the last three, four days. We already had our first concert in an Indian restaurant where we got some good, good food oh, afterwards. Beautiful. And we bring the drums, the flute, the didgeridoo and the handpan and we created a magical atmosphere for one hour. So now I always ask my guests, James, just try to um, explain or introduce yourself. Um, who are you and what what uh, creates you? For people who don't know you, you know, um, tell us something about your story. I know you're 41, so you got a lot of life experience already. You're 10 years older than me. And um, I think I always can learn of people who are a bit older and more wise or have wisdom, mm. um, but also, of course, it's not about age. <laughs> mm. So course, invite us into your mind, into your soul, and tell and share us everything you want to share. Okay. Uh, hi, my name is James. And this is my fourth day in Byron. Um, we have a mutual friend called Bradley. He told me after you come back from Italy, you have to come to Byron to visit. You will never regret it. Uh, here I am. Having a very beautiful time. You are from Sydney in Australia, right? Yeah, Sydney, Australia. I'm a city boy. Uh, I've been living in the city for a very long time. But I feel nature is where I need to be myself. Nature, nice. Handpan yeah. always very connects healing. with the nature, right? For sure. Yeah, the music. Because everything is vibration, kind of. Yes, everything is made out of vibration. And with in a very different way at the moment. I think we're, as human, I think we're growing. I conscious, consciously, I think we are more aware of the truth. Okay. Uh, and this, this beautiful equipment or instrument is been very healing for me. Um, I play it religiously. Whenever I get bored, sad, any emotion I feel, I always end up with this on my lap. And what uh, does the handpan, what does this instrument make uh, with you or with those emotions? I saw it's a, it's a, also a handpan from Yatao, yeah. some uh, famous player from yes. Germany. Yes, I love him. Alexander and Malte. Yeah, I watched his video. I think. The, Good friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this was a music uh, musician uh, who told you that. Yeah. So my friend is in Italy. He he makes tundrum. Uh, he's, he calls palm, and uh, he's been doing it for the last six years. Yeah. So yeah, very beautiful instrument. I should have brought it to Byron with me, uh, silly me, you know. Next time. Ah, but you brought the handpan. It's, yeah, it's better, hand man. Yes. <laughs> I like yes. to jam with you, and we met in the yes. streets here, and we yes. kind of vibe together. Um, your handpan, what tune is it in? Uh, yeah. It actually fits yeah. very good to my handpan. It's also an F sharp. Yeah. Yeah. I have a D minor here and F sharp. Yes, beautiful. 
and it matches so great together. Yeah. It's just awesome. And we get very good feedback on the streets yeah, when you play. Oh, no. You're creating a magical atmosphere. Yeah, um, we just sit there for two, three, four hours, um, yeah. and people love it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like I've been playing by myself all this time. Yeah, it's, it's great to meet someone like you, another handpan player, and just sharing. Um, for me, I feel the instrument is it's expression. Instead of using your words, your language, is another form of expression and communicating. So jamming with another handpan player is doing a blessing for me. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. I always express my whole body language, what I want mm -hmm. to say, and like you said, my feelings as well with the music. And I come from a musical background with a trombone and an orchestra. Mm. I grew up with the rhythm in my blood, kind of, from my childhood, very young age on. And um, how do you, to come back to the, the theme, how do you transform your emotions while playing? What happens when you start playing? You get into the moment, direct into a moment, or into a zone, or what happens? Yeah, I try to be in the moment. Feel the moment. I go to silence uh, before before we um, All sorts of feelings, doubts, even mm -hmm. boredom. <laughs> Playing the handpan, but it's it's almost like having a dialogue with yourself. You know? mm -hmm. You're having a chat with yourself. And you, by playing the new instrument, you have this feedback. Um, wow. I get to know myself much deeper. Same happens for me. Yeah, same so happens. You have this instrument. When we sit on the street, in the street, we, we feel we're getting judged or we feel bored. Mm. We feel. Should I do this or not do this? Mm. We start worrying on all mm. these things. Yeah. And then later we understand, no, it's just our thought. It's our mind yes. process. Maybe yes. some, even if it's not ours, maybe some, what other people told us to think yeah. or what we have yeah. been thinking in the past. Yeah. And that, that disappears. And yeah. I really enjoy that moment when we realize, hey, hey, Andrew, we're doing an interview. <laughs> we're good. We're doing an interview. Right now with the phone, yes. Oh, good luck. May the force be with you. I better go somewhere else. No, you can sit here. You can if you if you don't mind us speaking to the camera. No, I don't mind. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. So for me also, the the handpan is very healing and keeping keeping me in the in the flow state. Whatever happens, it keeps you moving forward and understanding. Life goes in circles. And moving around. Yeah, no judgment, impermanence, and just be right here. What I feel when I play in the streets and I give people the instrument mm. who pass by, mm. and um, I see a lot how they react, I see how they try to play, or how they judge themselves, and they just mm. say immediately, Oh, I'm not good enough to play. Mm. Uh, no one wants to listen to my thing. Yeah. And that's what they're just telling themselves all the time, over and over and over. And I think this is what we need to understand and accept with mm. compassion. Mm. We, we always try to tell us the stories, mm. but we should stop believing and listen to those stories we are telling ourselves. Mm. And then we can grow as a human. Then we can grow as a person and go out and experience something new and be open for life. If we always talk ourselves down, yeah. nothing really happens. That's yeah. my experience. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. I think um, everybody has self-doubt, but it's better than just do it. Just do it, you know? Putting the time, putting the effort, you cannot fail, you know? Once you put in the... Yes, you can't fail. There is no failure. Yeah, yeah, there's no failure. It's only judgment, but judgment is a, is a, is a thought. Yeah, exactly. Right. 
it's a uh, self-discipline I think is the key to whatever you want to achieve um, yeah just putting the time but then again you have to know what you want you know because we are limited with the time we are given in our lives because you know sadly uh, I don't know our friend I only met for a few days um, his name is Alex um, just passed away yesterday. Yeah, he drowned at the beach. At the beach. And um, we've been doing a lot of reflecting on ourselves. He's a beautiful soul. I don't really know him that well, but I'm sure he's in a good place right now. Yeah. And he's also a reason why I want to do this video now, right now. Because we start, if we know something bad happens in our life, and of course this is a negative event. It's a person dies and he's about 20 years young and you feel connected to this young talented musician which you meet on the street every day here and then he disappears from one day to another. Just swimming in the ocean, getting caught by a rip and he's gone, he's drowned. And this makes us realizing how short time periods we have in our life. And my motivation is always to go out and live the life I really want to live, live my dreams, express myself with the music and don't work in the nine to five job. It's more creating something for others and me and it's healing and it's, it's a big future to see and it's not just working to get something done or just working because I, I'm bored and I have no idea what to do with my life. Mm. It's more about creating something really for the future and for other people and help other people. That's also why I activated and created this video course because I know people out there are struggling mm. with self-worth. They don't have the courage. They, they, they feel shy. They think they are not good enough. All these things I also realized with myself and everyone is human and they all have the same thoughts. Yeah, we all came from the same place. Yes, and Even that's now, why we want to share. we all have it. It's yes. more or less. Yeah. Yes, yes. Still now we have it if we go out. But the good thing is, these negative thinking patterns, they, they get less. Mm. And the positive, sometimes they, they swept over. Yeah. And that's a good thing to try. Yeah. If you keep on focusing on the positive, you get stronger with your focus and you get yes get moving, you get rolling, you get the yeah. momentum. Yeah. And that's what we need. Yeah. You need to go and focus. Yeah. And when you look back in two years time, you know, oh my God, I achieved so much. Because I didn't got stuck on disappointment or judging, judgment. You know? So pick yourself up if you fail, it's okay. Nice, you dust yourself up, keep moving. Nice. Should we play another session yeah. for um, two, three, five minutes? Maybe yeah. we feel to share something more or we stop the interview. Sounds good. Yeah. Do you have anything what you want to share still now? Or we just play a bit?
push Tokyo is going for the thick to right throw. <laughs> He's already scared. <laughs> I was about to throw the dish into the push Tokyo. <laughs> wow, that would be a good round. That probably would. <laughs> There's one pick, <laughs> and we would go for this one, <laughs> for sure. Wow, thank you for sharing thank the you. music, that's nice. Yeah, that's, that's lovely, guys. That's why the people in the streets love it as well, because it's so magical. Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> thank you, and we got lots of ants here biting me. <laughs> Did uh, you see yeah, the ants? Yeah, and, and, <laughs> and they're massive as well. <laughs> yeah, they're big ants. It's not like small ants. Everything here is massive, whether it's cockroach, <laughs> And you name it, spider is the worst. <laughs> Hopefully, we see you yeah. with white light. Yeah. Yeah. Any last words to share with the audience? Uh, for me, uh, every day is a beautiful day. Sometimes we can really lost me on thoughts, you know, negativity, because only you see only one side of it, you know, or maybe a certain hand, a mouth, but then again, you need to see your home, because we are connected. Yeah, we are a big society, right? Yeah. Uh, we are big families. Should I share with the bus turkey? Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Dang me, why not? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank I think you. that's, that's I, nothing to add. Thank you. That's good. Thank you. Thank you for this interview.